Join me as we uncover some truths about the new Pat McGrath Heart's Desire collection on this newest segment of Buy or Buy. Now, after what was literally the world's longest preview, Pat McGrath Labs dropped the Heart's Desire collection. It's worth noting the price was hiked up twice, once the day before release and the day of release, which she then dropped slightly after her pre-sale discount code expired. Shifty. You once got what you paid for, these deliciously luxe quads, but then the quality went down and went down again. And now we have this fucking paper monstrosity. How am I meant to store it with my other quads, Pat? Upon looking further, I couldn't help but notice this little piece of nonsense. After seeing the outpouring of love for these shades, I simply had to create the eyeshadow quad, Daring Desire. Uh, no. We have been begging for something new, which always falls on deaf ears as you churn out pink after pink after the same constant pink. After her little spiel, I had to wonder, are these repeats? Let's look closely at these shades. Shade number one, Galactic Glow. It's a repeat shade from the Mega Mothership Celestial Odyssey. This little shade right here. But the other three are from a palette she just released for the holidays. But it gets worse. She heavily discounted this palette to the point it got sold out. So she could repackage it and sell it to you for $100 within the same month. But that's not the only thing I noticed. With any launch, you can always get a bundle deal. But let's look at this value bundle here, which is $135, but is a $90 value. Let's do some math, kiddies. If the palette is $97 and the mascara is $59, that gives us a total of $156. But if we reduce the bundle price of $135, that leaves us a whopping saving of $21. What's the $90 value, Pat? Thinking about it, would I get this palette? No. I'd get my ass over to Sephora where they still have it in stock and just pay the extra $30 for a full face palette. It's excellent for newcomers because it has many of her base repeat shades. It's also worth noting that these shades are her lower quality USA formula and not the Italian formula we expect from a quad. And if you're wondering, this look, was it done by the Heart's Desire palette? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was done using an actually iconic palette, the Mothership Subversive La Vie en Rose palette, which people have actually begged for to return. So let me know, were you going to get it? If I realized this before I bought it, honestly, I wouldn't. And until then, kitties, see you next time.